We'll begin tonight's meeting with the invocation by Councillor Adams, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Lord, as we come together to renew our dedication to the principles upon which these officials were elected, we enter to learn, we go forth to serve. We pray that we may be fulfilled inwardly as we serve others outwardly. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, call the roll. Mr. Nieper? Here. Mr. McLean? Here. Mr. Lowe? Here. Mr. Teffin? Here. Ms. Adams? Here. Mr. Glenn? Here. Ms. Townsend? Here. And Mr. Nixon? Here. Uh, there are no amendments to tonight's agenda. The consent calendar? Mr. President, I move that no. item A be received, filed, and approved, and items B, C, and D be received and filed. Second. The motion the second is to receive and file communication or item A, receive, file, and approve item A, and receive and file items B, C, and D. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion <coughs> carries. Communication number one. From the Director of Community Development regarding legislation to place tax assessments. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number one be received and filed. Legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number one. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number two. From the Director of Community Development regarding legislation for removal of assessments. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number two be received and filed, and that legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number two. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number three. From the Deputy Director of Utilities regarding legislation to pay the annual license fee to the Ohio EPA. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that communication number three be received and filed. Mayor's already authorized. Second. The motion on the second is to receive and file communication number three. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion <coughs> carries. Communication number four. From the Deputy Director of Utilities requesting legislation to renew the agreement with GE Intellect Platforms. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that communication number four be received and filed and authorize the law director to prepare any necessary legislation. Second. second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number four and to authorize the law director to prepare the necessary legislation. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number five. From the Director of Utilities regarding legislation to enter into a partnership agreement for the Southeast place, Regional Waterline Improvement Area. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that communication number five be received and filed. Second. second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number five. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> the motion carries. Communication number six. From the finance director regarding legislation for budget amendments. Mr. President. Mr. Tevin. I move that communication number six be received. File legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number six. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number seven. From the finance director regarding legislation for cash advances. Mr. President. Mr. Tevin. I move the communication number seven be received and filed. Legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number seven. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number eight. From the Director of Public Works regarding legislation to sell vacant land. Mr. President. Mr. Neighbor. I move that communication number eight be received and filed. Second. second. 
The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number eight. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number nine. From the Director of Public Works regarding legislation appointing J. Howard Elstro as authorized agent for FEMA Public Assistance Grant Program. Mr. President. Mr. Nieper. I move that communication number nine be received and filed. S second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number nine. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 10. From the engineer regarding legislation to enter to a contract with D.L. Steiner, Inc. Mr. President. Mr. Nieper. I move that communication number 10 be received and filed. Second. second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number 10. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 11. From the Director of Public Works regarding legislation to amend Ordinance 161.12. Mr. President. Mr. Nieper. I move that communication number 11 be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number 11. Is there any, dis any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 12. From the law director regarding legislation for assignment of agreements with BEF Foods, Inc. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number 12 be received and filed. Legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number 12. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Under reports of officials, Chief Martin, the annual report. Thank you, Mr. President and members of council. Um, actually, my uh, time up here is going to be very brief. I just want to take this moment to introduce Major Angel Cortez, uh, which, as I believe everyone uh, on council certainly knows, but for those that uh, are perhaps watching by television, uh, earlier this year, in uh, at the end of March of this year, uh, Major Richard Shade retired from his position as a major with the Lima Police Department. And Angel Cortez was promoted from lieutenant to the position of major to take his place. As a result of that, uh, there was some changeovers in uh, duties and responsibilities, one of which has been assigned to Major Cortez, uh, is to uh, complete our annual report each year. And so that's why we're a little bit late this year in uh, getting it out because of the uh, transition there and, and the delay that that caused. But uh, at this point in time, I would just like uh, Major Cortez to come forward and uh, I will allow him to uh, highlight the work that he's done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. I'll go ahead and pass these out. <laughs> so do we. Being graded. <laughs> That'll work. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, again, uh, thank you. Um, like the chief said, this did take a little longer than we planned on, but uh, due to the change in personnel, that's the primary reason. I'm only going to take a couple minutes of your time because I don't normally like to talk in front of people anyways. Uh, the 2011 report was made possible through an effort involving administrative services and input from supervisors of all shifts and divisions and specialty groups. This report documents a commendable body of work performed by our professional men and women of the LPD over the 2011 calendar year. As we know, every department in the city has had to stretch a taxpayer's dollars to accomplish our task. The police department is no exception. The accomplishments listed in this report took place with limited resources and dollars and manpower. The loss of manpower was due for a variety of reasons, including the retirement of Chief Garlock in April 2011. Sergeant Chevalier also retired in January of 2011 with 35 years of service. Officer Bob Sarchett retired with 33 years of service. Sergeant Andy Green and Patrolman Ingleman were deployed to Afghanistan in September 2011. Uh, Patrolman Shepard continues to serve his country in active military duty stateside. 
uh, Patrolman Woodruff is uh, now a Lima, a Lima firefighter. And we lost Patrolman Howenstein to the Ohio State Patrol. And finally, we did have one other officer resign. Despite these limited resources and challenges, the men, of women, men and women of the LPD answered 43,281 calls for service in 2011. That is an increase of 2,169 calls for service over 2010. Of those calls, as outlined in the Chief's forward, the number of uniform crime report, or UCR, part one crimes for 2011 remain nearly unchanged for the number reported in 2010. Those uh, part one crimes include homicide, rape, robbery, assault, ag assault, burglary, arson, and various theft offenses. The number, the total number for part one crimes in 2011 was 3938 compared to 3924 in 2010. It is an increase of 0.36 percent, but considering our resources and our manpower and the increase in calls, I think is uh, the men and women of the Lyman Police, Lyman Police Department did an exceptional job in 2011. Obviously, uh, we're going to continue to work diligently with the partnerships that we've established in our community uh, to make those calls go down even more next year. As far as the patrol ships go in this report, you'll see that patrol ships continue to work hard to provide the citizens of this community the professional police services they deserve and have come to expect from us. Our staff has been tasked to continue to deliver these services despite the reduction in manpower, as I, as I outlined, and increase in call load. From the individual shift reports, you'll see that the efforts by our officers, you'll see the efforts by our officers, and you will also read some success stories just to give you a small example of what these officers and dispatchers face on a daily basis. It's for that reason the Lyon Police Department is committed to continual training and professional development of all our personnel. In February, as we do every year, we conducted a two-week training block for our personnel covering a variety of topics, including but not limited to search and seizure, law review, CPR, and so on. We also conducted a 40-hour in-house bike school. Also, investigative services alone accounted for more than 700 hours of training. Under investigative services, as you might know, falls the PACE unit, computer forensics, the juvenile division, property officers as well. They were assigned 936 felony cases, which is also an increase of 100 over 2010. Juvenile officers were assigned 178. And identification entered 2,616 pieces of property in this system. That's two officers. The West Central Ohio Crime Task Force investigated 570 cases, which the case is a part of, and served 44 search warrants in 2011. The money they recovered from those search warrants equaled over $94,000. Our computer forensics investigated over 81 cases. In July of 2011, we auctioned off surplus property and unclaimed property, and after all expenses were paid, we netted over $18,000 for the city of Lima. Through 2011, we were able to, offer four, offer, able to hire four new officers to help us uh, compensate for those that we lost. We also hired two new communications operators to fill the vacancies in those areas. If you notice on the graphs in your reports, which I'm sure that's what everybody's interested in, the calls for service in their, their ward, um, the temporal heat index uh, calls are broken down by hour of day and day of the week. They range from a low of 70 calls on Tuesdays at 5 o'clock. Those calls are accumulated from the whole year, 5 o'clock in the morning, to a high of 468 calls on Monday at 1600 hours or 4 p.m. Also of note is that on Saturdays at midnight is the third highest calls for service throughout the year. We'll continue to use these, uh, this data for resource allocation special ops and to report back to the citizens of this community. And one last thing I'd like to mention is that we are in our 33rd year of being in a partnership with the Lima Noon Optimist Club for Safety City. And to say the least, uh, I imagine Safety City has a huge impact on the children that we won't see till years down the road. Uh, Safety City, Officer Davis Donnell and his, uh, 
His volunteers have touched the lives of over 10,000 children this year through field trips, summer academy, school events, community safety presentations, and rad kids. Also, Safety City uh, last year had almost 7,000 children for a trick or treat, trick or treat going through their facility. Mm -hmm. And as you know, the renovation project is now underway, and hopefully by next year, we'll have the, our Atlanta Police Department building up. We're working hard to get that done, actually by the end of this year. And um, you'll be hearing more about that later, something we can all be proud of. But it's with uh, great pride that I present to you a small, small piece of what the Atlanta Police Department has done and what its officers have done. And. Uh, a copy of this report is going to be available on the website as soon as uh, we get our personnel back to put it on there. And if you have any questions or if you need any more copies, I'll be more than happy to respond to it. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Hope that wasn't too long. Oh, no, you're fine. You did good. <laughs> Next on the agenda, committee reports, the Community and Economic Development Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, all members of council have received a copy of the report of the committee. Uh, the meeting was August 27th at 5.30 p.m. Uh, members present of the committee was Councilor Derry Glenn, Councilor Sam McLean, and myself as chairperson. The subject was the civil penalties and fines this was the second meeting um, held on this subject that since it had been referred. And like I said, I won't go through the report other than to express that you know a lot of good discussion, uh, issues, concerns were brought up. And uh, the committee, the issue is still in committee as a, as a motion was made to adjourn and um, some requests were made of Ms. Odom to supply the committee members the property checklist and also a copy of a letter that the resident receives currently explaining um, the fines and the uh, process. Uh, with that, Mr. President, uh, uh, the motion was made to adjourn at 6.42. I respectfully submit this and uh, ask for the committee report to be received, filed, and approved. Second. The motion and the second is to receive, file, and approve the committee report as stated and as submitted by Councilor Adams. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Uh, next is the Human, Human Resources Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as, like Ms. Adams, this uh, report was in the packet. Um, I hope everybody's had a chance to read it, and uh, with that, I will move that it is received, filed, and approved. Second. second. The motion on the second is to receive, file, and approve the committee report from the Human Resources Committee as submitted by Councilor Townsend. Is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. <clears throat> Ordinance 184.12. This is a second reading authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with HMS Employer Solutions. Mr. President. Ms. Townsend. I move that Ordinance 18412 be passed on its second reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 18412 on its second reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Nieper. Um, just as a kind of parlaying from the committee report, which ironically appeared directly before this uh, ordinance reading, um, I still uh, still don't think that it's necessary um, to expend the funds to do this this project. Uh, Councilor Tebbin actually had uh, the the best suggestion in the the committee meeting when he said that an employer in which he formerly worked for simply sent out the survey to all employees and they were required to send it back. Uh, or they were off the plan, and I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not sure if that. It did not appear as if that was even an option that was ever on the table. Uh, so at this point, I'm not prepared to uh, approve this legislation. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Neighbor. Is there any further discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Miss Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? No. Miss Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? No. Mr. McLean? No. Mr. Lowe? No. Mr. Tevin? Yes. Ordinance 184.12 will go on third reading with a 4-4 four to four vote. Ordinance 192.12. This is the second reading enacting section 1602.03 and repealing section 1602.08 of the codified ordinances of Lyme, Ohio to require an application and permit for bond fires. Mr. President. Mr. Glenn. I move that 192.12. Move that resolution 192.12 be passed on its second reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 192.12 on its second reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President, Mr. Neighbor, uh, I don't want to sound like a broker record, but I uh, just wanted to point out um, or thank the fire chief uh, for his clarity on this at the committee meeting the other evening. Um, I wish every piece of legislation we had was given the time uh, that, that Chief Hefner took to uh, explain this and, and answer questions. Uh, there were some concerns and some concerned citizens, but he was uh, very upfront and uh, uh, feel very good about what we're doing tonight so thank you thank you mr. Naper is there any further discussion I'll have the clerk call the roll mrs. at miss Adams yes mr. Glenn yes Miss Townsend yes mr. Nixon yes mr. Nieper yes mr. McLean yes mr. Lowe yes. mr. Tevin yes ordinance 192 12 has been passed on its second reading by an 8 to 0 vote ordinance 194 12 levying special assessments for property maintenance code charges on premises in the city of lyme ohio mr president miss adams i move that ordinance number 194-12 be passed second on, yeah be passed on its first reading second second the motion in the second is to pass ordinance 194-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I just want to publicly make note that uh, these are the property maintenance code charges being assessed to property. We have a listing here and it totals $175,821.09. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Is there any further discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Miss Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tepp? Yes. Ordinance 194-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. <coughs> Ordinance 195-12. Removing property maintenance assessments on certain parcels of real estate in the city of Lyme, Ohio. Mr. President? Ms. Adams? I move that Ordinance number 195-12 be passed on its first reading. Seven. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 195-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Ms. Adams. In contrast to that number I just gave you on the assessment, um, this is assessments to be removed, and it totals $5,421.76. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Is there any further discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Miss Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Miss Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tepp? Yes. Ordinance 195-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Ordinance 196-12. Amending the 2012 <coughs> annual budget. Mr. President. Mr. Tevin? I move that Ordinance 196-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 196-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Will the clerk call the roll? Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tepp? Yes. Ordinance 196-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Ordinance 197-12. Authorizing cash advances from the general fund to certain other funds and for reimbursement back to the general fund. Mr. President. Mr. Tevin. I move that Ordinance 197-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 197-12 <coughs> on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Miss Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Miss Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. 
Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tepper? Yes. Ordinance 197 12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 198 12. Authorizing the mayor to assign agreements with Kettle Creations Inc. to BEF Foods Inc. Mr. President? Ms. Adams. I move that Ordinance 198 12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 198 12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President? <coughs> Mr. McLean. This is the, um, came from Kettle Creations to the new Bob Evans facility. We're continuing a agreement we had with Kettle Creations for an employment uh, package that they had with us. So if they do as well as what Kettle Creations have, we're gonna be ahead on this, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Is there any further discussion? I hope the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tech? Yes. Ordinance 198-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Ordinance 199-12. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Harris Computer Systems. Mr. President? Mr. McLean? I move that Ordinance 199-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 199-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tappet? Yes. Ordinance 199-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Ordinance 212. Amending Ordinance 161-12. Mr. President. Mr. Nieper. I move that ordinance number 212 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 212 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tebbit? Yes. Ordinance 212 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 201. Dash 12. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract for the purchase of equipment for the wastewater treatment plant. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that Ordinance 201-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion and the second is to pass Ordinance 201-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tappan? Yes. Ordinance 201-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Ordinance 202-12. Authorizing the auditor to reimburse the Allen County engineer for the paving of Sunderland Road. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that Ordinance 202-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 202-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Uh, the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tuck? Yes. Ordinance 202-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Ordinance 203-12. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a collaborative partnership agreement for the design of the Southeast Regional Water Line Improvement Area. Mr. President? Mr. McLean? I move that Ordinance 20312 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 20312 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tepper? Yes. Ordinance 20312 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 20412. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with D.L. Steiner, Inc. Mr. President. Mr. Nieper. I move that ordinance number 20412 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 20412 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tepper? Yes. Ordinance 20412 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 20512. Authorizing the mayor to accept and expend a gift from Husky Energy. Mr. President. 
Mr. Neighbor. I move that ordinance number 205-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion and the second is to pass ordinance 205-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Neighbor. I would just like to thank uh, Husky Energy for their donation. Um, this is money donated to replace trees within the city. As many people know a lot of trees have come down in the past several years uh, because of the, uh, specifically ash trees, because of, of the uh, emerald ash borer. And hopefully this will, uh, it won't fill the whole void, but we'll do it in just another in a long line of, of uh, contributions Huskies made to the community. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Neeper. Is there any further discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Sixteen. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Neeper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tevin? Yes. Ordinance 205-12 has been passed on its first reading by a 7-0 to zero vote with one abstention. Ordinance 206-12. Authorizing the mayor to transfer real estate to Paul George Hahn, Jr. and Sandra K. Hahn. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that Ordinance 206-12 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 206-12 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Ms. Townsend? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Nieper? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Mr. Lowe? Yes. And Mr. Tevin? Yes. Ordinance 206-12 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Miscellaneous business, Ms. Adams. Thank you, Mr. President. I only have one item this evening. Uh, Hope Neighborhood will be meeting October 2nd, uh, Tuesday at 6.30 at Unity School. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Mr. Glenn? I got a couple things here. Um, we're going to have a lot of problems with people dumping in alleys. Now, it's against the law for anyone uh, putting out the garbage, they're doing jobs. Uh, we have some on Jameson Alley. Uh, we got some garbage thrown out there on Nye Street. And we got some over here on, uh, on Float. And we had calls all this weekend that someone doing that. So I'm hoping that you take the uh, tag number down. Uh, you can give me a call. Uh, I know we picked up some on the James Street Alley. There was a lot there, and I appreciate uh, the guy helping me out there. Uh, he, he took his time out from the football game, and he was back there and seen all that garbage got thrown out back there. So I'm asking you, please, kindly, please, you can't do that. You know you can't do it. It's against the law uh, to take jobs. And I'm hoping that if uh, any stuff they dump out, any job that he, had, he or she had done for you, and your name come up on some of the trash he dumped out, I'm hoping that the law director will prosecute you on that, because it's not fair to the people. Um, I'd be dumping stuff. I was a couch out there on Nye Street when I was on my way to city council, was laying out in front of the house that somebody dumped out. So I will be getting that taken care of tomorrow. You know, because I got off, as soon as I got off work, someone had called me about it, it was dumped out there. Also, we will be a uh, Friday, I will be turning the list of names. Uh, any streets I miss, please give me a call. But I will be turning the street names that we asked them for payment for 2013. And uh, we will be finishing up this Friday on the curbs on State uh, State Street, Folk Street, and, and also uh, Amwood Place. We had a couple places out there. And uh, I will be continue going around asking do you want these things. And uh, we get that to the law director. The deadline is Friday, so we're trying to get all these in right now. Uh, I thank the mayor for coming out uh, to the meeting. I didn't get to make it. We had some, uh, some came up at work and I couldn't make it. But a lot of folks telling me they heard some good things out the meeting. So I uh, thank him and the administrator for coming out for that. Um, we are going to be doing our, uh, our educator of the week. We're going to continue doing that. We know uh, honor roll will be coming out. Uh, next month, so we want the kids to come out to City Council. We have a sponsor for that. We can continue doing that. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. Ms. Townsend. I have nothing tonight, Mr. President. Thank you, Ms. Townsend. Mr. Neeper. Nothing this evening. Mr. McClain. I have one item today. 
I'd like to remind everyone that the Fraternal Order of Police is going to have their Pancake Day on Saturday, October 6th at the FOP Hall on Robb Avenue. It starts at 6 a.m. and goes till 2 p.m. Uh, I'm sure you can find advance tickets um, at the police station and other officers got them, I'm sure. So please support a worthy cause for the FOP. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Mr. Lowe? Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to echo the words that was uh, mentioned earlier. I want to thank Chief Hefner and Chris Jackson. Um, I think we had a very successful um, neighborhood concerns committee meeting. Uh, we came very well prepared and, and first time in a long time. And it went really, really smooth. And I want to thank the Chief and I had to talk to Chris uh, for holding an uh, excellent meeting with us and listen to the concerns of the individuals that came to the meeting. I would also like to state that um, I have received a lot of phone calls about different areas uh, within Third Ward where individuals are hanging outside of businesses and residents are complaining that there's other activities going on. Uh, earlier before we came into council, I asked uh, Chief of Police, uh, Chief Martin, if he would speak on this issue uh, briefly and address those concerns to the individuals and what uh, they have the power to do. Uh, Mr. President, um, as Mr. Lowe stated, uh, he did speak to me before uh, council meeting tonight. Uh, and basically the concern is uh, regarding persons loitering on business properties. Uh, and uh, in all likelihood, uh, taking away from the uh, intended business at those uh, places. And if there's any business owner that has people that are hanging out on their property uh, that concern them, uh, then they certainly are encouraged to call the Lima Police Department. We will go out and let the person know that they are not welcome on that property um, at the owner's request or the uh, uh, employee's request at the business. Uh, we will issue a formal trespass notice against that person so if the person comes back again, then the business uh, owners or, or employees can contact the prosecutor's office regarding filing uh, criminal trespass charges against the unwanted people. Um, also, uh, as many people may not be aware, uh, if there are any concerns regarding a business, its security, or how they could uh, uh, perhaps make it more secure, um, surveillance systems that they could put in place, um, crime prevention through environmental design changes that they may be able to make, uh, our crime prevention officers uh, will in fact come out and do business surveys with the business owners and the employees to help uh, give them ideas on ways that they can make that business more secure. Uh, and in order to have that service provided, all they have to do is call uh, the 419-227-4444 number uh, and ask for the uh, Crime Prevention Bureau. And we will certainly, uh, uh, Cassie, who is uh, uh, currently our lead uh, crime prevention specialist, uh, we'll make an appointment to come out to that business and we'll help to conduct that survey. Uh, also, any time that there are any problems at all that an owner may feel is, is ongoing or is, is going on at the time at their business, again, they are encouraged to give us a call and we will have officers respond and take whatever appropriate enforcement action that uh, is available to us depending upon the situation at hand. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Chief. And one last thing I would like to say my hands off to uh, Mondale Smith and uh, Mr. Jerry Lewis who put together a fantastic uh, day of giving back uh, on the east side of Lima. Uh, they did a great job. Fort Park Church hosted uh, the event and I have talked to them also. And we, I thank you from the bottom of Mar. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. Mr. Tevin? One item this evening. Um, and I spoke about this at the last meeting. The Boulevard Neighborhood Association, uh, their October meeting is going to be held on a different Tuesday than it normally would and in a different location. They are meeting Tuesday, October 23rd at 6.30 at St. Charles School. And they are meeting with the Lakewood West Neighborhood Association in an effort to explore the benefits of the two neighborhood associations working together. Uh, I'll try to remember to repeat that again because normally uh, the meeting would be held at, uh, uh, no, uh, Cable Road, 
West Middle School. And uh, it will not be held there. So hopefully we'll have good attendance and, and good things will come out of that meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tevin. I just have uh, two things. Uh, number one, I would move that council authorize the law director to prepare a resolution in support of the Lima City Schools uh, tax levy. Second. Second. All those in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, secondly, I'd like to uh, at least acknowledge, I think we have some students here from Bath High School, and it's civics or government? Government class. Okay. Welcome to our meeting. We didn't ask you to give a big speech or anything tonight, okay? I hope you found it interesting. You're always welcome to come back anytime. Uh, with that, Ms. Townsend? Mr. President, I move that Lima City Council adjourn until October. Is it Columbus Day is not... No. no, we don't. <coughs> October 8th at 7 p.m. in these chambers. Second. Motion on the second is that Lima City Council will adjourn until October 8th at 7 p.m. in these chambers. Is there any discussion? All in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Council is adjourned.